All right, guys. Uh, so it is reset, and I'm just this is the alliance part of the gold event. I'm collecting those prizes. So it is about soldier recruitment. All right, so real quick, I'm in my recruitment gear right now. I got the helm. Um, for trap training, I have that. I'm on a, I'm on a video, honey. Um, and so I have my skills set up in development. You can go down. Here's 20 in training speed, 20 in training capacity. Capacity matters because it increases um, how many troops you're training at the time. But by... by uh, now I'm trying to think of the word. But anyway, it's a high... The same training speed, but you're training more at that speed rather than less at that speed. Okay, so... Um, there's an in one infantry building, one siege building, one cavalry, and one archer. All right, so you can't just do everything infantry. But it's very important to have um, your guards, which would be starting at T6 infantry, and then T8 infantry, and then T10. Now, that doesn't mean that every... Um, <coughs> on every troop... It does not go by each parity or whether it's even or odd because some of them skip. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, so I need more guards, all right, because it's very important. Um, infantry, you have to have your guards, your front line. They're the front first um, shield. You don't want to sacrifice too many and not have enough firepower but when you're hitting a target <coughs> um <clears throat> that's as equal or higher power than you you need to this is another thing consumption consumption event so it just so happens on a training gold event i also get resources and building speeds for using training speeds so that's good um <clears throat> but you need enough front line <clears throat> excuse me to uh, hold up against um, the front line of the enemy and the conqueror is the also the destroyers at t10 is the guards all right they start at t6 t4 it's not the same ghost leaders the first guard um, these t7 are strong against cavalry Guard again, T9 strong against cavalry. You can hit description and read about him. Spearman has iconic critical damage in his restraint of cavalry, the main damage soldier. All right, increase the damage to cavalry, a chance to make a triple damage, a chance to attack twice on the enemy square in the attack area. <laughs> All right, now if I go out of here and I don't have him training, if I hit train, the first time I go to the troop, spearman, middle, raw, melee, damage, counter. You see that right in the center? I don't know how to make it come back up. There it is. So if you click the name of it, it explains it. So spearman, middle row, melee, damage, counter, cavalry. Okay, so you will, it explains. You don't actually get to see the battle like it's in War and Order or Age of Z. Um, or games like that. You don't actually see. Um, you can see in the march. Where they are. But you only see the shape of the weapon. Guard. If I click that. Front melee receive damage. So if the, your opponent has a lot of damage. Then. Right there. Front melee receive damage. Um, then you need the guards to handle that damage. So the rest of your troops can fight. Okay. So. While I'm yip yapping. I do, I am low on my spearmen, um, because I just keep guards training, because you see I have only 33,000 of them. Um, I haven't even been fighting, like, much at all. Uh, they go fast. Um, true, I mean, you can buy packs, and it makes it, you know, cheap to train in this game, but, um, 
I haven't been um, as active recently as I sometimes am. Um, I like the kill events. It's my favorite thing. And I hit targets big as I am sometimes and smash them. But it costs quite a bit. And this is a Spring Festival event. So you can see right here, Spring Festival event. It's not open yet. Every time I click it, it hasn't begun. So now we know that a top-up event's coming. So once that event starts, which is going to start at reset tomorrow, um, especially if you're starting a new account today or something, wait till tomorrow before you spend any money. Uh, top-up event can be amazing, especially in a new realm. Click my link that I share on the page here. It's on my page um, and it'll take you directly to download the game I get credit for your download and then you can check it out and if you really want to get ahead to where you're it's it's better to use the beneficial events if you're gonna spend anything spend on the top-up events especially early and then you're have an upper hand you got a lot more for cheaper you got an upper hand to stay ahead in events and keep winning prizes to push you on the future all right so a top-up event is coming um i just clicked the dollar sign over here it takes me to the bank you have to buy a pack to be able to do the one day deposit and deposit up to 2500 i get 2649 tomorrow so that's free 149 there's different things through here the growth fund always buy the growth fund when you first start monthly pack you can buy and get a daily um, amount of gold you can also get the weekly packs on the resources and speeds um, this is uh, an event where you can you win these for a while hitting monsters after each reset you win the coins <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly how many and how often you win how many um, but you can you also get them from buying packs so um, that's the middle one the top the top one this elephant tusk that shows all your events all right so that's what I was looking at the gold event is you know every two weeks um, and then consumption events every day it's based on something different you use up what you have and you get paid something else all right um, so what I wanted to explain though if you want to be successful in an attack you need to have guards so yes I can train t9 but my priority is to have lots of t8 because they are going to go fast especially if a t10 guy jumps in I mean some of these guys, if you take advantage of the top-ups, man, they spend a little bit and they get a lot. Um, every day you get a reset free recruit on the uh, uh, common recruit and you get one free advanced each day. You get five free recruits on the common. Um, <laughs> now I showed you all a little bit about this in, in my last video. Um, this is the polar desert right now. What I'm clicking on is each one of my camps has XP that I've been generating. And based on your monster, your uh, hero and how, how upgraded they are and how strong they are is how much XP you'll gain. So um, now I can just choose any faction but my own. And I'll just click some random area. And then what I want to search for is a castle that I can beat with high XP and I send it out at it. okay so I know I know I can beat this guy automatically he's only one star he's Genghis Khan which is cavalry strong and um, they don't seem to be much challenge in this game archer strong and infantry strong is the challenge so um, Genghis Khan is usually easy to beat also pay attention to how many conquerors he's got and See the swords at the top where it's 29, 20, 650? Okay, uh, so the, the power of that hero is not that high. When mine's seven, and then you can see he's got a random, just the random setup of troops down here. And it's only 6840. If you look at the top left of his card, it says it's a level 18 hero, which isn't that high. Um, when I'm sending a level, I don't know, 34, I think so. You can see he's 2860, only 73 created troops. I'm 7872, level 34, and I'm sending 161, 400. So I'm not even adjusting my formation, 
if I were to find a tougher uh, opponent, I would. I would um, adjust and take out Siege. Siege don't do much. Uh, they absorb some damage and break through at Castle. So, um, And like I said earlier that I was supposed to um, explain to you, is that you cannot go by just even an odd tier. All right, because it skips. But right now, T9 Siege, they're rams. They do absorb um some damage <clears throat> they help with the uh <coughs> they help with the guards absorbing damage see and then the siege they're the back row ranged high damage low attack speed so they're real slow they don't attack very fast they're in the back um but they're only good for castles really as far as i have learned when attacking city, it increases attack, greatly increases siege attack, but reduces the attack speed. So they assist in your um, all your siege. Greatly increases siege range. Um, but people don't use siege. Like if you're out on a, a resource tile or something like that, um, or in doing the, the throne wars, you don't want to use so it's going ram siege ram siege ram siege ram siege ram so those go in order so odds are the rams um even to the siege but i think it is the cavalry the cavalry that skips so horse archers seven heavy cavalry is eight horse archer I mean, sorry, Horse Archers 9, Cavalry's 8, Horse Archer 7, Cavalry 6, Horse Archer, Cavalry, Horse Archer, Cavalry. Now they go in order too. I'm not sure why I thought they didn't. Bowman, Archer. Oh, okay, so that's why. Right here. So T7 and T8 Archers are both Archer. They're both for back row range, high attack speed, split arrow, counter, guard. So they're good at um, <clears throat> countering the guards. Um, crossbowmen are more defensive. Crossbowmen, back row range, high damage, low range, long range, sorry, extra damage while in defense. But if you're using, if you're a T9 castle, you're going to prefer the crossbowmen. <clears throat> they have the high damage and long range shot, shot, and they're good. They have an extra bonus for at home, but they still are going to hit harder than this archer. So this archer is rated at 263 attack. This is 461. All right, high attack speed. They counter guards. So I guess it is good to have um, the some T8 in the march. Um, I haven't tested it so much, but I think I should have been. Archer, back row, range, high attack speed, split arrow, counter guard. So I can't wait till I get T10. Uh, T10s are just unstoppable, okay? Because you've got the archers and you've got the top destroyers. <clears throat> and then the heavy cavalry, they're just amazing. Um... They're, uh, <coughs> go, go, heavy cavalry, middle row, melee, charge ranged. Anyway, they're good at attacking, um, archers of the enemy. Now, you don't want to invest a lot into them. What you want to do is have your archers, but also have a group of infantry to attack his, um, cavalry. And then you want a group of your horses to attack his range but you want a lot of range to be just doing damage on their whole army uh, if you need a little bit of each based on your march size your percentages will vary um another important factor is your tech now the more tech you get done whether it helps in um attack or not it's the more you get done the higher the level and then you get these bonuses okay
So you get more troop attack, more troop health, more march capacity, more defense, more troop load, and higher gather speeds. All right, but then you have resources from production to gathering. Development is everything from research speed, construction speed, healing speed, hospital capacity, training speed, training capacity, training cost, um, lots of different things. Magic mine investment, which is something that you do um the event is every so many days um in defense there's all about traps really and hideout capacity um the traps and the trap training speed the revive which means um more survive being attacked rather than die um and the training capacity and the speed but the hideout cave is the reason that's helpful over here, all the way on the left side, um, enter, and then based on your tech, you can hide troops up to a certain amount. So you can hide them, play dead in a in a hive, and uh, let them. You get free, um, free every day. You can click some free XP for your lion, but you can hide them, and then you can pull them out right before you're about to get attacked. So you've had a hidden army or you can leave them in there if you know you're going to be over hospital capacity and you just have them as backup you can pull them out if you take a huge loss in an attack or something like that and you want to keep going so there's a lot of different things every five minutes you can free recruit until you've used up all five every time you free recruit you get some stones you see at the top right there those are my blue ones for um that store and then in advanced recruitment store every time so you get 10 for each time you recruit the, the little helmet running around gives you a question you can get a little resource bonus what attributes bonus can you get from upgrading hall of war and that's going to be rally capacity 5,000 whatever um, there is a reward in here this little icon all the way on the left right above the stamina lightning bolt you'll see the roman numeral tool that's glory swords and then the one next to it, that's for achievements. And you get paid gold for doing certain things. And the questions is one of them. Um, Glory Swords is another stats thing. Every building or most buildings have a specific stat attached to them. It's kind of like in Guns of Glory and uh, various games. Um, but you earn them by hitting monsters. Um, you earn them. You can buy them in packs and you can earn them in different events. <laughs> Excuse me. And you can increase the levels in certain things to get, you know, your stats higher than what your normal tech or your gear will offer you. Uh, every day you can do a wishing thing. You get a certain amount free based on what level you're at. What's up, Speedy? Um, I need food so I can go to Castle 28, so I just click on food all the time. You get the ship every, every so often. It always changes. Um... And uh, this is your, um, you can get subscriptions for economy and for war um, down here, the tavern. Um, every so often they have a spin the wheel event. This is also your event center. You can either hit the top right icon or you can hit that little coliseum looking thing. That's your event center. <laughs> um, this blimp here, that's where you can, it's like your your um, little shop you can buy stuff at discount prices ports at 1600 down to a thousand when they cost two thousand you get two uh, one re free refresh I always buy the stamina March speeds on sale they cost a thousand so even at 800 that's a good deal but uh, I gotta watch what gold I spend on what because it's early in the reset and i haven't decided what strategy i'm going with on certain things um vip of course you know vip from every game your stats increase as it gets higher um you can win vips and buy them you can uh um you can get quite a few of them in various ways so that you can keep activated uh the gold I explained this in the last video. It is, if you're going to be 
spending a little bit it's good to um buy the gold pack which if you pick the top up here um on the right see that little chest the gold chest click on that and it takes you to all your packs you go over to the gold mine pack and you can buy that buy it all the way up to 100 and then after that you can buy 10 of whatever uh, pack per um week or till it resets again or whatever um and um that will give you the gold mine cores that you need so that you can upgrade your mines and once you get them upgraded so far and each one is for a different troop gives you troop stats not only that but it does give you a lot of gold so it'll keep feeding you gold you're just going to have to keep winning or buying um some activation gems every so often um this is just my other inventory i clear it out every so often so i can just make sure that i'm loading up all the available things that are good to have um and yeah so hitting monsters is a very lucrative thing in this again you get lots of glory swords so put on your stamina gear uh you got the shoots the shoes for the troop speed you got the um breastplate <clears throat> for the stamina recovery um i did in my last video explain a little bit about the forge um there's an event actually related exactly to the forge you go to enter at this little blue gate at the at your castle you can go in and based on the chapter that you've reached like i can't go forward because i haven't finished this chapter but i get 10 free each day so i pick the the highest one that i have three stars on and then i can just hit battle constantly and i don't have to set my march i don't have to set my stats i've already got three stars so i just replicate my highest score 10 times and then I get those mats. All right. Um, you can also battle. You can also try again at other ones. Or you can buy more if you want to keep on going. It's based on your gold. It's 100 gold per. Now you see I have 26 trial stones already. You win those in events and different things. All right. So it's, it's good and important to do. If I go to the forge, you can see it would have a red exclamation point on one of these three up top here, top left, if there was something available for me to um, upgrade. Um, even so, I probably wouldn't because I'm just saving. It takes a ton of mats to upgrade. That's why you want to take full advantage of top-ups because there are top-up events that will cover everything in multiple areas all at once. And it's just so lucrative. Um, this will be, the answer will be guard. I'm so, I'm used to the questions. Um, I'm used to the answers rather. I don't even have to read the questions anymore because a lot of it's repetitive. But the fact is that you just got to give it the right answer. Um, you donate down here, donation, click on it. <clears throat> and there's resources development more. I'm always donating to war. I click one at a time. See how that 20 lit up? Click the 20. Now it's, it, it lights up when it wants to. You get more from it. So I just hit the 1 until a 5 or a 20 lights up. 20. Sometimes you'll get a whole bunch of them. Now you see uh, the 5 lit up, but it said cooling down. Down at the bottom, 410. So I can't click on it or it'll say spend gold to reset. So then I wait, wait for later. All right, let's check my uh, mails real quick because there was a Magic Mind event. Magic Mind bonus. So I got 12 million. I spent 1,048,000. Uh, 1,206,000. 206. So I didn't uh, get in to it until like it was over. But the longer you're in it, so pay attention when it starts longer you're in it and the better your tech so the better the more that you put in to it at once the more you um <clears throat> will get as a bonus at the end um so whatever resource you put in there it'll increase that 
monster. See, I got the lucky coins, like I said, for the spin the wheel thing. And you get lured XP every time. Lion XP. <clears throat> and for hitting monsters, you get lion assault points. For rallying camps, that's when you'll get defense, lion defense points or when you gather. So I end up with a lot of lion assault points, but not much in the uh, defense points. But you get glory swords. They can vary. Um, or glory banners, sorry, badges in this game. Um, and again, you use them over here, the Roman numeral two, or you can go to a building itself and then all the way over on the right, glory upgrade. <clears throat> so I've covered a little bit there. Um, a lot of these things um, all matter together. So you really need to cover your bases. Uh, do everything you can if you're not, you know, taking advantage of a top-up event or something like that. You just need to uh, put some some uh, uh, focus into a lot of these things. Just like every other game that I play and that I've done videos on, um, there's always some way to do better at something and win what you need. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good night.